morning. My name is Dr. Jawanza Kanjifu, and our video is from my latest book, and the book is titled State of Emergency. We must save African-American males. State of Emergency. We must save African-American males. There's a lot that we have to cover in the brief time that we have with you. Let me just give you some of the stats, the trends that we discovered in writing this book and why we're calling it a state of emergency. If one of every three white males were involved in the penal institution, I believe white America would rise up and call it a state of emergency. Why have we not done the same thing? Because in black America, one of every three African American males are involved in the penal institution and we have yet to call it a state of emergency. You see, at some point you would say if the problem, you know, if it's just a few of us, then you would say the problem is personal, it's individualistic. But when it becomes one of every three, so it used to be one of every six, then it became one of every five, then one of every four, and now it's one of every three. At what point are we going to realize the problem may not be with Willie and Daryl, it may be systemic, and we have to look at this. Let me give you some other stats that, again, reinforce the state of emergency uh, that we're in. If there were, if 80% of the special ed children in America that were white just happened to be white males, I believe white families would again rise up and call this a state of emergency. But in black America, 80% of the special ed children that are African American, for some strange reason, just happen to be African American male. When are we going to rise up and call that a state of emergency. If there were three white females for every one white male on college campuses, I believe white women would rise up and call it a state of emergency. So why have we not called it a state of emergency? Because in black America, there are now three black females for every one black male on college campuses. And we only begin to talk about those who graduate. We need to call this a state of emergency. If white women had the life expectancy of African American males, which is only 65 years of age, I believe white women would call that a state of emergency. You see, white women live to 79 years of age. How frightening. White women, 79 years of age. Black males, 65 years of age. Black men die 14 years before white women. When are we going to call that a state of emergency? If one of every 12 white males in Washington, D.C. were a victim of homicide, white America would call that a state of emergency. Can you imagine that? If you live in Washington and you're an African-American male, it's almost like gym class, one of every 12 African-American males in Washington, D.C., is going to be a victim of a homicide. Again, we need to call this a state of emergency. If 31% of white males in Alabama and Florida were permanently disenfranchised, or oh, don't get me started with the George Bush who was selected, not elected to be president of this country. Literally, there are 1.4 million males who were disenfranchised, who were unable to vote. If they had been able to vote, they could have made the difference. Again, America advocates being a democracy, while we have 2 million uh, males who are incarcerated, and 1.4 of them just happen to be African-American males. But remember, in Alabama and in Florida, remember Florida, they are permanently disenfranchised. If 14% of white males nationwide were temporarily disenfranchised, can you imagine if 14% of the white vote was temporarily disenfranchised, white America would call that a state of emergency. So when is black America? Because it is true, in black America, 14% of African American males are temporarily disenfranchised. If AIDS was the number one killer in white America, white America would rise up and call it a state of emergency. Later on, we'll discuss AIDS in more detail, but in white America, AIDS is not the number one killer. But for African American males, it has now exceeded homicide. It is now the number one killer of African American males. 
If whites were 13% of the population, but they were 35% of those arrested for drugs, and 55% of those convicted, and 74% of those sent off to jail, white America would call that a state of emergency. Reverse it. We are 13% of the population. We are 35% of those arrested for drugs. We are 55% of those convicted and 74% of those sent off to prison. Believe me, white America would not accept that. How can you be 13% of the population but end up being 74% of those incarcerated? If white males were only 17% of the drivers in Maryland but were pulled over 70% of the time for racial profiling, driving while white, reverse that, driving while black. You get my drift, don't you? Can you imagine? You're 17% of the state of Maryland, but you're 70% of those pulled over by the police. We call that a state.